Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Nuzlocke Challenge. Today we are playing Gwen, and this is donated from Field Worker. So much Field Worker for the dono. I have actually noticed, by the way, and obviously I, I think you guys can tell I'm not taking this series, this series most serious. It's preseason. This is technically my kind of time off, as it were. Um, we've got a negative win rate overall, actually, at the moment. 47% win rate, 87 games, which obviously means I'm only like four or five games in a deficit. Um, but yeah. Whoa, a big echo. A big Yole. Oh, do you bot lane? Um, these two actually were in last game, I just noticed. These two are the Nico and the Lee Sin. That's the Lee Sin. That's the Nico from last game. Also, it's a fiddle one trick with 2.5 million mastery points. It's called Feedle Sticks. I'm against an Udyr top lane, which seems a bit weird. But no idea what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's have some fun. I think a Yone could absolutely destroy a Kindred. Um, very confused to why someone's playing Kindred mid. This person is a Kindred main. And I think they actually just play it they usually play at Kindred AD Carry. Yeah, they actually they they don't play Kindred Jungle. They literally play Kindred AD Carry. That's weird. Uh, let me see, champ. Uh, pretty yes, in a way, champ. But that's the whole unit. I don't need like the whole unit. I just need that slidey tray. Oh, hey, Binny. Can't go to sleep. Sag. I'm ignoring the E level one. The reason why I'm not going E level one is because an Udyr has to walk into me. So, like that. Oh. Oh, it's better clear. What's, what's that jungle? Ramus. Okay. So Gwen is a champion that I actually quite like. The thing with Gwen is, I will say, and I think most people might agree, to me she does fit into the modern modern champions because, in essence, she is a modern champion. And modern champions just, I don't know, man. Like I think they're really hard to balance. He hasn't done red buff yet. No one said life was easy. He was literally looking for a gank on me before. That's weird. That's like slowing his. That's slowing his clear by a lot. Also, well, Ude is nearly out of mana. What? Oh, so close. Still don't think a Yone should die to that, though. He's top lane again. What? Ah, we got his ghost! Why did we get his ghost? Um... I'm very confused. But okay. This looks good in bot lane. Oh my god, that was perfect. 
Very nice. You're an Uber driver in Chicago, just got off work. Cool. I, I really want to go to Chicago. My dad went to Chicago. God, it would have been probably over. God, it would have been a long time ago, like 15 years ago, maybe by now, 10 years ago. He went for St. Patrick's Day with his brother and he said it was absolutely insanely cool. I actually want to go to Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. I want to go to a Cubs game. I want to I want to do it, you know, one day. God, like, I do feel for the Yone because, like, it would be really annoying to lane against a Kindred. Well, again, in essence, like, Kindred in mid is like playing, well, it's a cheese pick to a certain degree, obviously. So, I don't know, Huzz is talking about cheese picks again. I know. Brace thyself. Yeah, I want to do New York. I want to do a lot of things, you know. I want to travel a lot in my life. The only problem is obviously traveling is expensive. This dude could be dead. I think I can kill him. I think I can. He leveled at the worst time for me. Oh no. Oh my god, I thought he wasn't going to get that. <coughs> I, I really don't see the point of playing Kindred in lane though. Like, you lose so much strength because you're not actually using your passive. Because obviously Kindred passive for her marks is invading the enemy jungle. She's marking me now. So what, are they lane trading for her to try and get a mark on me? Just, just don't see the point. Half expecting her to try and sneak in here. Udyr won't base because he's trying to be bait, I would imagine. So I'm just going to play... Oh, she's there. Annoying player. Oh, this is not good. Three v two, and there's not much we can do about that situation. Presumably, she's got ultimate. Up. She obviously wants to try and kill me, and she did. Oh my god! If Yone maybe moved, that would have been great. I guess he doesn't want to move because he wanted to try and catch back up with just farm. Oh, frustrating. I didn't expect that instant burst that Kindra did. I, I would have thought it would have been like the third shot to kill me. But she killed me quicker than I thought. Did Echo R too early? I think by a little bit, but I ultimately do think he was just going to die. Did it? Wait, what the hell? It's, oh, he's buying Demonic, I guess. Okay. Ooh. Do, do, do. Nice. Nice. Wait, is he going AP Varus? Nice, good job. Oh no. Oh thank god they did it. Woohoo! 
They got Ramus as well, I think. Gwen is satisfying to play, I will say that. But, well, that's the thing. Most of the new, new champions who aren't very easy to balance and all that stuff are actually very fun to play. For someone that has got full AP and a tier, he's actually really tanky. And again, <laughs> you could kind of say that Ud is a modern champion because obviously he got a modern rework, so he kind of fits that as well. It's crazy. When I do get um Rift Maker, I think will be good though, because like that will give me so much more tankiness. Because obviously that will get that will give me healing, and healing is deceptively gives you tankiness. <coughs> ah, God, sorry. I think I'm going to have a cough for quite a while, unfortunately. If he can get his ghost, I'll be pretty happy. Okay, Ramus is here. He's so tanky. What is this? He doesn't die. What? Oh my god. You just can't beat modern stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't give up. Not now, not ever. I think that's it, Adam. Well done, dude. I must hurry if I that was crazy, though. He tanked how many tower shots did you guys count? Or maybe while taking active damage from me and he just didn't care and he's not again he's not tank that's the thing you have to imagine he's not even tank if he was building tank i'd be like okay maybe okay he's got a tier and ap items that's what i would call cray cray you know and now he has demonic, so now he truly is unkillable. Whoa! Get in, get in, get in! Oh, you needed to get in. Oh, this game's a fiesta. God, dude. <gasps> Bush Kitty one shot. 17 months tier one says, been a while. How's it going, Bush Kitty? We did it. Raid boss down. Jesus. All right, I'm hoping with Rift Maker will be a bit better. Thank God. Oof. Yeah, thank you much, Bush Kitty. All right, we have... Uh, I'm hoping a bit of extra tankiness ourselves now because when we do bonus damage with true damage, and that's going to be good. And we also... Whoa, that E was weird. Um, ooh, nice by Tam. 
Oh, he teleported behind. That's awkward. Uh. This is better than a dream. It's real. And I won't ever forget it. You're doing good. You're done with League, but you'll be enjoying in other games. Fair enough. Are you like done done with League or like just for preseason you're having time off? Because like if I had to give any big piece of advice for like I, I obviously have not done it. People are sometimes find me crazy for playing League as long as I have and I continue to do it. Honestly, just having occasional times off from the game, I actually think is healthy. And the best time to take a break from League is preseason. Like, yes, you know, you might be a little bit behind when the, the, the season kind of begins because obviously you haven't been playing with the changes. But... Yeah, I, I do think it's kind of healthy. What is he doing? I am AP, bud. I'm not AD like the rest of them. <clears throat> you can't just make me auto attack you and I'm going to die. I personally, again, Ash has just said you're, you're enjoying taking time off from hardcore ranked. Exactly the same as me. I am not taking this series at the night. I'm not taking this series very seriously because I, I need a bit of chill time. You know, when you're playing in, in, in any rank, you know, no matter what rank you are, it's stressful. And I would say it's stressful no, no matter what rank you are. But when you're in like the, the master tiers of League and that type of thing, it's intense. It really is. Um, You know, you, it, when you're playing ranked at that rating bracket, you can't just chill. You're not at that rating bracket. And sometimes where I think, you know, and it, it may come across wrong in my commentaries every now and then because some people go oh Huz, it's just a video game it is but at that rating bracket you can't actually chill anymore unfortunately if you chill you lose at that rating bracket and that is just the way of it <laughs> so the kindred is starting to fall off it seems But the thing with Kindred is I actually don't think she's a very good solo carry in herself. I think she's a good complement. Kindred's a, go a great complement to a Kaisa or something like that. But I don't think she's the, the best. Fortunately, I think that Udyr, if he just wants... If he, like, just kind of goes, I'm not going to take this fight, I'm just going to run away. I don't think I can do much about it. I think if we just both stood still and fought each other, I actually think I can beat him right now, but he's never going to let me do that, probably. That shield is huge. Hey, nerve dude. Uh, we are feeling better. We're starting to feel better each day. Um, what, basically the worst times for me is morning and night. Um, if anybody knows the scientific reasoning behind why you're more ill or feel more ill at night time or morning, feel free to let me know. Um, but it, I've, it's very noticeable that we're not as bad at night and we're not as bad in the morning. It's still not brilliant, um, but it's a lot better than what it was because, dude, it was bad. <coughs> it was really sucky. Who is playing like there's someone here? Because there is someone here. I told you I beat him now. Go da ba da. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I told you guys I, I knew I could beat him if he actually fights me. And what, why do I know that, by the way? And all of it is to do with scaling. Gwen is a duelist champion. She's a 1v1 mainly. She can team fight, but she's better at 1v1s. And 
which I do true damage. I also, when I get this item, it does bonus true damage, and I also get Omni Vamp, which is healing. Oh my god, he stole it. He stole it with his ulti. They need to stop it. They need to stop it. Don't let them get it. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. I don't think they got the Rift Herald though. Like, you had to still pick it up and I don't think they got it. Uh oh. Oh my god. And you can E. You can E. There we go. What? Uh, <laughs> cool. Alright, Nash's tooth for me next. Ah. Missed. I think he's kind of worked out I beat him now, so I don't ever think he's ever going to properly fight me. All right, we have to be careful now because Baron, believe it or not, believe it or not, is actually Kindred's mark. Which basically will take like a kindred's team not thinking about Baron to instantly then actually thinking about Baron. clear this up pretty sure wish i'd ulti in that the hell is the ezra doing let's go where's fiddle i'm gonna get fiddle ulted Where's Ramus? Oh, he's not oh, Ramus. Yeah, no, he's dead. Wait, look, oh, mamma mia. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, predicted. I knew it. I knew it. I'm psychic. Oh my god. Huzzy the Prophet. <laughs> oh, I murdered this Rammer's like mad. He's building like, well, he's got a bit of an MR, but I true damage and he's building all armor mainly. He hasn't even completed his Pokemon for God's sake. What the hell has you been doing? That's a YouTube short. Yeah. Again, um, just to say, everybody who's watching the live stream, especially in those cyber moments, if people can clip them, it helps me out. Because what I basically am going to start doing is I'm actually going to start doing some YouTube shorts. And the way that is easy for me is the clips, whichever clips in a certain time period, if they get, you know, views, then, you know, people have like watching the clips here on Twitch. Then I can download that clip on Twitch and make it into a YouTube short. Annoyingly, I still got to do some editing on it because I've got to turn it into mobile format. Really annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Nice. Wahoo bomb! Twenty-nine months of Primus is back from holidays. How's it going, man? Hope you had a good holiday season. Okay, I think the fiddle might be tilted or something because he's never with his team. He's only level nine. Okay, what on earth? 
Level nine fiddle support. And remember, this is the fiddle one trick. <laughs> Good luck fighting me now, Udyr, buddy. That just isn't going to happen. And what I would say, ultimately, this is the main difference, is I am a top lane 1v1 duelist. Udyr is not. How cocky am I? If Ezreal came into the... Ooh. Yeah, Kindred's just falling off. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if anybody is in the same camp. I'm, I, it's very satisfying for me when something like a Kindred mid starts kind of doing bad. I can't help the way I feel, and that makes me feel happy. And actually, you did top to to be fair as well. It just makes me feel good. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It's just a gut feeling. I think it's ultimately I'm a player, and I know I am. That I like things in their boxes. Like I like oh, that's a jungle champion. It plays in the jungle. I, that's a mid lane champion. It plays in mid. I I, I know I'm like that. I know I'm like that, so, yeah. There we go. Nice game of Gwen. Gwen felt good. It was a bit annoying to lane against the Udit early, and his tankiness, I will say, was obscene. The fact that he could just tank towers and do all that stuff in pretty early game was absolutely crazy. He should never be able to do that. But obviously, luckily, scaling wins, and like Yone outscales a Kindred in a 1v1. Gwen outscales a Udir in a 1v1. So, like, thankfully, we managed to turn it around. But, um, yeah. There we go. Very nice. But, yeah, Gwen is a monster when you get uh, get a few items. Weak early game, though. Uh, and this is probably, I would say, uh, you know, we played Kale last game, and it was quite similar to that. Gwen is stronger earlier than Kale. So, like, Gwen isn't completely reliant on level 16. She's reliant on, well, a big power spike comes with Riftmaker. Stuff like that. So we went 6 2 3, 20, nearly 3,000 damage. And Ramus, I would say, did struggle big time. Ramus is a very strong champion at the moment, but this guy, and you know, he might be picking it up because, oh, Ramus is strong, but it doesn't mean you instantly can start doing very good. Kindred, as you also notice, zero assists. She took every single kill was available. Maybe sharing more kills would have been handy, but she didn't do that. Um, but yeah, overall, nice game. Annoying early game, both for me and top lane against Udyr. And I imagine the Yone was probably a bit annoyed as well, being against a Kindred. But both of us outscaled our lane opponent, which is nice. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. Eternal power, lead us to...